next week we're going to be a very special broadcast taking place. We're going to um, one of the national parks, one of our amazing national parks here in South Africa. Of course, it's uh, Sand Parks Week next week. And during this time, access to all of our national parks are free to all South Africans. So you must take advantage of it. And uh, as I say, next week we will be focusing in on one of them. I'm looking very, very forward to that. So if you are in need of a little bit of silence, some fresh air, wide open spaces, and uh, why not throw in some stargazing? Tankwa Karoo National Park is the one for you. Take a look at this insert. The true meaning of the word Tankwa is unknown, but it is said to be turbid water, place of the sun, or thirst land, all of which fits this arid yet picturesque park so well. Tankwa Karoo National Park was proclaimed in 1986. Since then, high biodiversity land has been added by sandparks to increase the conservation area. Lying between the Cedarburg Mountains and the Great Karua Escarpment, it incorporates three distinct ecosystems, pure desert in the west, open grasslands in the center, and the Rochefeld Mountains in the east. We are currently at the Elandsberg viewpoint, um, one of the most stunning areas to, to view the park, and just to see the great expanse of what Tankwa is. Um, below us we'll see, this is the original um, uh, area of the park, the 26,000 hectares, um, eight state-owned fa farms um, comprising the Portlaisberg, Bramberg, Fontaine and at the back we have Leoberg there, um, which is only a part with at the moment about five times that size, um, standing at 146,400 hectares. Tankwa Karoo National Park is situated within the succulent Karoo biome, which is one of the 25 richest and most threatened reservoirs of plant and animal life on Earth. It's the only arid region recognized as a biodiversity hotspot. During spring, the succulent flowers are at its most spectacular. At present, the plant species list for the park stands at 780, with four new species found recently. This is one of the plants that's called um, bokwering. Um, bokwering because the, the seed pods looks like little goat's horns. Um, actually quite nice to eat um, and uh, just make sure it's before it sets seed um, because it, the seeds are wind dispersed so it's f very fine and fluffy things then. 2009 saw the start of the largest single relocation of antelope into Tankokura National Park. Cape Mountain Zebra, Gemsbok, Red Hartebeers and Springbok have since found a new home in Tankwa. Humans have lived in the region for at least 10,000 years, first the Bushmen and then the Koo pastoralists, who moved their livestock with the migration of the wild animals. In the 1700s, the Trekpoor farmers started using the Tankwa to graze their sheep, but the arid climate and poor soils meant that nomadic livestock grazing was not sustainable. Today, many of the ruins of these old farmhouses are dotted across the landscape, telling the story of life and survival. But it is the wide and unusual variety of accommodation available in Tankwa which draws visitors in search of the sounds of silence. The Ilansberg Wilderness Camp provides just that. We don't have any electricity. I think that is the, the way to experience the Tankwa, the, the silence, the, the space. It really starts talking to you if you can experience it at candlelight, um, lanterns, um, the, the solar fridges um, and the swimming pools. We, we have uh, pumps for that, um, which works with solar energy, which is also different in, in this area. Then we also have uh, what we call the renovated farm cottages. Uh, which is three old cottages or old farmsteads that were renovated as um, tourism accommodation. Um, also very nice, you're very secluded on your own um, and that's, uh, that's what we like to give to our guests, the wide open spaces. Our slogan is in space and tranquility in abundance for nothing. So. For the 4x4 enthusiasts, there are many trails and mountain passes to remote sites and scenic views. Camping sites provide the opportunity for the more adventurous traveller to get one with nature. We are here at the Perdekloof camping site um, where we only have six stands and each stand has its own um, exclusive bathroom kitchenette and it's a bit of luxury in the bush for those who don't really want to rough it but still want to get closer to nature. The wide open landscapes of Tankwa provides calmness and rest to the soul. 
But the real beauty lies in the small detail of this biodiversity hotspot. Linky Beerman for Morning Live, Tankwakaroa National Park.